So the next one, number three, being back in school, taking a test, being unprepared. So places in life, that's the, that's the form. It's a, it's a place, school, a specific place, but let's start with just place, the form. And the function of places is it gives us a space to exist. You know, this, the place that I'm in is where I'm existing currently. The place where you're in is where you're existing currently. We can all get up and move to the next room and be existing in a different place. So places give us space to exist. How does the consciousness use that same function? The place where you exist in your consciousness is your state of mind. Uh, being in a learning state of mind. Well, that's what the school represents. That's the type of place, a learning state of mind. Um, being in a productive state of mind. So being at work represents being in a productive state of mind. Um, you know, being in a happy state of mind, being in a festive state, you know, with you, when you're out with your friends, you're in a festive state of mind. When you're around your kids, you're more like a teacher's kind of mode, a teaching state of mind. Um, you know, being in a loving state, there's all types of states of mind. You know, we can, we all understand that, I believe. Um, so a, a place, school is in being in a learning state of mind. And so school is, our life is also a lot like school. You know, life is cyclical. We are either going in circles or we're going in cycles. You know, if, if we go through and have different life lessons all year long, and if we don't learn the lessons that we have available to us, then we just have to relearn them, you know? Destiny is a very real thing, you know? There, there are things that are destined to happen. In the superconscious mind, like we talked about last week, the receptive quality of the superconscious mind is to hold the blueprint that we have created for ourselves. Our spirit, as a spirit, we have created a blueprint for our existence as a soul and body. And we are to fulfill that blueprint. You know, we, you know, like, like for, for me, for example, part of my purpose in life is, is this, you know, to learn these things and learn these metaphysical principles and things and apply them into my life to gain deeper understandings. And then also to share what I know and what I'm unlocking deeper that I've already learned from within myself and within my soul with other people. That's a part of my blueprint. So anytime I get lost in life, I can just re, re uh, assess from the blueprint. So, um, you know, there is a, a destiny portion of it, but also free will is very real as well. You know, there isn't like an either or kind of thing. I also have the free will to decide whether I want to do those things now or not. You know, if I don't, then I'll just have to do them later, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. If I don't do it at all this lifetime, then I'll have to do it next lifetime, you know, because I've set it in motion for myself. So, you know, the lessons that you have to learn in life, that's fine. I mean, yeah, you've, you've, you've set it up for yourself, but you don't have to learn it right now. If you don't want to, don't, but you'll just wait a while and the opportunity will arise again for you to learn it at a later time. You can choose then. Do I want to learn it now or not? No. Okay. Wait a little longer. Okay. Now this time I want to learn it. I'm tired. I'm tired of the same lesson. You know, it's just like school. You can take the law, the lessons in ninth grade. And if you pass or pass the majority or enough to go on to the next grade, then you're going to cycle up and go to the next grade. So you're no longer in English. You're English one. You're in English two. You're not in pre-algebra. You're in algebra one. You know, so it's you're still in algebra. You're still doing math, but it's a higher form. You know, so you're, you're still on the lesson of, you know, uh, forgiveness, self-forget, forgiving yourself. But now it's on a higher form. You already learned that. But yeah, so I mean, so I get a lot of people, a lot of my mentees, a lot of times will be like, you know, oh, I feel like I've already learned this lesson, but here, here it comes coming up again. <laughs> or, or a lot of times, especially like, a, uh, now I, had, I had one mentee where <laughs> she would say that often, like, man, I could have swore I did a lot of work with this. A lot of dreams were coming up with this. And I did a lot of work with this. And now here it is coming up in the dream again. And I'm like, well, look, you know, it's, it's coming up in a different way though. And that's because it's showing up in a different way in your life. You're on a whole nother level with this dream. You know, that's, that's why it's coming up as the number 70, not the number seven, because there's more, uh, more power to it. The number zero represents, you know, a higher level. And so it'll help you understand that. We'll get to the numbers and everything. Uh, but, um, but anyways, you know, just like in school, if, if you pass the lesson, you go on to the next grade. And so you'll be around the same subjects, but it'll be on a higher form, a deeper understanding. But if you don't learn the lessons, then you're going to have to retake the grade. You got to retake ninth grade. You got to retake 10th grade. Okay, we're moving you on to 11th grade, but you, you got you to gotta retake 
Spanish too, man. <laughs> you failed the F out of that. You got to retake Spanish too. So, you know, school being being back in school for people who have already graduated, you know, as adults, if we dream of being back in school, that's going to represent how we feel we are learning from life. We are we are in a learning state of mind, learning from our life lessons. However, we feel like we should have already learned this lesson. You know, like, man, I feel like I should have already learned this lesson. You know, you're going to dream about being back in school or taking a test that you're unprepared for. It's like, you know, feeling like, man, this is too much. I'm not, this is, this is more than I can handle. I'm not ready to learn this lesson. I'm not prepared for it, you know? <laughs> and so it, you are, you are prepared for it. If it's, if it's coming across in your experiences, you are able to handle it and, and go through it and survive and grow from it. You know, you're, you're able to handle it. It's just, it might take a lot more willpower and a lot more perseverance than other experiences. <laughs> so anyone who has these types of dreams, that's what it will mean. And so what I would do if I had a dream like this is assess what I have available to learn from life and not just like, you know, learning life lessons. Like, you know, oftentimes whenever I ask people, well, what do you learn from life? Cause that's just something I randomly ask people all the time. <laughs> And uh, just because I, I value a metaphysical conversation more than a conversation of weather or sports. But uh, anyways, a, one common thing that a lot of people will say is like, oh, yeah, well, right now I'm learning from life not to trust people. That, something like that. You know, it's like, OK, I can see how that can be a life lesson. But, you know, let's let's go deeper than than just that. You know, OK, what 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 else? What can you learn from that? <laughs> What can you under what deeper understandings? How can you deep understand in a deeper way, you know, something like um, friendship or um, compassion or consideration or empathy or something? I don't know, you know, uh, communication, you know, something else that will actually benefit you versus, you know, the, like that's kind of like being in being in school and it's like, oh, well, you got a D on this test, but he failed. You know, it's like pointing to somebody else's lessons. They have to learn. But anyways, I would I would assess and look at what you have to learn from life and just really contemplate on it and go deeper with it. You know, sometimes some stream of consciousness writing helps um, where you just like write and write and write on whatever it is until all of your thoughts are emptied out. Um, that's also really we'll get into more of that with like uh, incubation dreams when we talk about that.